During infectious disease outbreaks such as coronavirus or COVID-19, a triage process centered on infection prevention and control is crucial to separate patients likely to be infected with the pathogen of concern. While persons who are symptomatic and worried about their exposure to the virus are encouraged to call ahead before visiting the emergency department, there are still patients who may visit the hospital directly and could be unknowingly transmitting the virus. There are clear signs diverting patients to immediately report to the pre-triage area. Good afternoon. Good afternoon A security guard at the entrance <coughs> greets the person and verifies the reason for their visit standing six feet away. The person is asked if he or she is seeking to access medical care in the emergency department, presenting for a prearranged outpatient appointment or seeking to drop off items to the general ward. Tent A is the first checkpoint for patients seeking to access the building for medical care thereafter. This allows the team to screen persons who present with respiratory symptoms and concerns versus non-respiratory related symptoms and concerns. The hospital operates with an amplified level of clinical suspicion given the existence of both asymptomatic and symptomatic persons who may be infected with COVID-19 and do not necessarily meet the WHO case definition. This reality makes detection at the hospital's doorstep even more crucial and equally complex and requires scope for clinical judgment to mitigate the risks. A standardized triage algorithm is used in the initial assessments of patients on the outside. This includes key questions that will determine the patient's prospects of meeting COVID-19 case definition given their presenting symptoms. If the risk is high, the patient is diverted through a pre-identified designated pathway and taken to an isolated evaluation room. If the patient meets the case definition after further clinical assessment, a nasopharyngeal swab is taken for testing. The Ministry of Health is notified as per protocol. Before and upon arrival to a healthcare facility, there are several steps that all patients should take. Inform 911 and or healthcare providers if you are seeking care for respiratory symptoms such as cough, fever, shortness of breath, Wear a face mask if available during transport and while at the healthcare facility. Notify the nurse at pre-triage about respiratory symptoms as soon as you arrive. Wash hands with soap and water or use alcohol-based hand sanitizer before entering the healthcare facility. Carry paper or fabric tissues to cover the mouth or nose when coughing or sneezing. Dispose of paper tissues in a trash can immediately after use. Maintain social distance by staying at least six feet away whenever possible from anyone, including anyone that is with the patient, for example, a companion or caregiver. Here's what we've done for you at TCI Hospital. Paper tissue and hand sanitizer stations are available across the facility. A bin with lid is available at pre-triage where patients can discard used paper tissues. A face mask is given to patients with respiratory symptoms as soon as they get to the facility if they do not already have one. There are visual alerts in strategic areas such as entrances, walking areas and elevators about respiratory hygiene and cough etiquette and social distancing. Waiting room chairs are also spaced apart to promote social distancing. Take everyday preventative actions to help flatten the curve. Remember, social distancing or rather self-distancing is a new self-care. Are you doing your part? Interhealth Canada, Turks and Caicos Islands Hospital.